on the couch one night watching TV. And Hank Jr. said to Gretchen Wilson, me and my gang, we love outlaw women. And I thought, man, that'd be a great title for a song. So I wrote that song. Anyway, with Tony Mullins and John Stone. Uh, here's one for you. Uh, when I, I wrote this song uh, about, uh, well, it's been about, shoot, almost nine years now, nine years ago. And uh, when I first uh, got asked to, I, I went over to London to uh, meet this, the guy that I wrote the song these days with, Rascal Flats, and I'd never met him before. I just kind of got the music and wrote the lyrics to his music. So they said, you really ought to go meet this guy. <laughs> it could be good, you know. And uh, so I went over to London, and they wanted me to write for this boy band called Westlife. Kind of a pop band, like, you know, kind of like Backstreet Boys kind of a band back in the early, about 2001 or something like that, I think it was. And uh, so we went over there, over to London, and we wrote this song and, and uh, played it for the guys in the band, and they said it was the most depressing song they ever heard. And uh, that they would never record a song like that. So, cried a few tears, and, and you know, as a songwriter, you get kind of hurt by that, but you get over it really fast, because it happens every day. <laughs> you know, it really does. And, you know, came back to the States, and uh, at the time, there was a guy named Mark Wills that had a record deal. You might have heard of Mark Wills, and a uh, great singer. And uh, he, so he recorded the song, and uh, it was going to be his next single. And uh, then he lost his record deal, so the song didn't come out. So, you know, kind of strike two. So then, like, three years later, uh, I get a call from Faith Hill that she wants to record this song that I wrote, and uh, she wanted to know if anybody had it. I said, no, everybody thinks it's really depressing, you know, so nobody wants to sing it. She goes, well, I, I love that song, and I'm going to sing it. And so she cut it, and um, just before her record came out, um, she decided to change the whole concept of her album. And, wanted to do something really country and uh, thought this song was too depressing and too pop and didn't fit so she got rid of it so then about two years later I got a call from Dan Huff who's a big record producer in town great guy great guitar player and a wonderful guy um, he's recorded a lot of my songs over the years for different people and uh, he goes hey you remember that really depressing song you wrote back in 2001 anybody ever record that I said no they all think it's too depressing so he goes, well, I, I want to cut that on Rascal Flats, you know. I, I played it for him, and they think it's really depressing, but I think I could get a good record out of him if you just, just let me do it. I said, yeah, go right ahead, you know. So they recorded this depressing song. And, uh, and that, yeah, me too. <laughs> I always liked it, you know. I just, it, was a tribute, it was a tribute to my father at the time. We passed away a few years earlier, and now it goes out to my son every night. I sing it, and... Uh, uh, it's also a big disco dance hit now. So. Go figure, huh? You just never know when you're writing a song what's going to happen. But, uh, uh, yeah. but man, we thank you guys for coming out tonight. I hope you're having a good time out here. I know it's cooling down a little, so. Whoa. Wow, that's not good. There we go. I had I had a honky tonk piano going there for a minute. Afraid to cry every once in a while Even though going on 
with you gone still upsets me. There are days every now and again I pretend I'm okay, but that's not what gets me. What hurts the most was being so close and having so much to say and watching you walk away and never know what could have been and not seeing that loving you is what I was trying to do. It's hard to deal with the pain of losing you everywhere I go, but I'm doing it. It's hard to force that smile when I see your old friends and I'm alone still harder getting up, getting dressed living with this regret but I know if I could do it over I would trade, give away all the words that I save in my heart that I left unspoken what hurts the most was being so close and having so much to say and watching you walk away and never knowing what could have been and not seeing that loving you is what I was trying to do.
Sayyid. Yeah. 